Nek Zero click uh, mail that ZecOps uh, published is uh, CV 220-9818. Apple actually fixed it in uh, iOS 13.5. And the description of the impact is processing a maliciously crafted mail message may lead to unexpected memory modification or application termination. The technical description is uh, out of bounds right issue was addressed with improved bounds checking. So this looks like a very serious bug. This looks like something that I wanted to exploit on a real device and get myself some nice RCE just by sending a mail to someone. In the next video you will see the results. Is it really that bad or not? Okay, we are on the iPhone and the application mail or mobile mail is running. So how can we see? We just grab on the process list and we see that this is our process. Okay, so let's use LLDB in order to attach to this process. Okay, after we attach, we're going to set a breakpoint inside the vulnerable function, which is part of the MIME library, and hopefully you can see how to uh, not explode, exploit this uh, issue. Because what you will see is that the heap doesn't have much to overwrite. So now we have our default uh, breakpoint and we can set our first breakpoint inside this uh, vulnerable function as reported by this article that I talked about and we will continue execution and now I'm pressing inside the app on a mail uh, let's look at another mail we need to trigger the function call map mutable data. Now we can look at the stack just to see where we are. So we can see that right now there is a message uh, and this message is going to be downloaded to a file see it here you need with the uh, file descriptor and then it's going to be mapped from this file to a memory with mmap function okay so we want to see this mmap function uh, being executed so here is our breakpoint Continue the execution. And let's look at the stack now. We are indeed in MMAP, which is called by map mutable data. Now let's look at our registers. And these are the arguments that MMAP uh, receives. One of these arguments is important because this is the length of the buffer that will be allocated by MMAP in order to copy the data of the mail into. OK, 
Okay, so this is the length of the buffer. If we can write past this length, we're supposed to win. And I'm going to assume that the very special conditions they talk about in this CV are actually existing and that we can write past this buffer. Okay, so now let's look at MMAP and look at what happens after it finishes uh, executing. So we're going to set a breakpoint in the return. Uh, actually, after. No, it's here. It's, it's OK in the return. And continue. And now we should see, if we look at x0 register, this address is the address that mmap returns. And this is the beginning of the buffer where the mail was copied to from the file. So let's look. Sorry, let's look again. This is the correct one. And this is really the beginning of the mail. Okay. So we got uh, the uh, beginning of the buffer. Actually, let's look a little a little bit. It's okay. This is uh, I know because I can recognize the mail. You can do it yourself if you want. Just send the mail to the app, stop it with this breakpoint, and you will also see. Uh, okay. So now we know where the buffer starts. Where does it end? So it ends exactly at this address plus the length we saw before. Okay, so let's find the length. This is the length. Let's do a little bit of uh, calculation. Very easy. We have uh, Python, right? Python. We can run this command, which will give us uh, the sum of the length plus the beginning address, right? Which one is it? This is the one. Okay, so this should be the end of the buffer. Now I put some A's in the end of the buffer, so we should see them if we look before. So let's look at C6, C0, all right, there it is. So you can see that this is really the end of the buffer. Okay, so in the second the clip, I will show you the what's after this our buffer. This is means that everything after this uh, byte is supposed to be exploitable. This should be overwritten. We will see in the next video. Uh, what happened? We will see why there is a serious problem exploiting this issue. So we found the end of the buffer. Okay, it's uh, it's here. This is address, actually this address right here, <coughs> is the end of the buffer. And if we can write past this uh, this address then we can overwrite uh, functions on the heap or pointers on the heap, data on the heap, whatever uh, we want. It's nice. However, let's look what's inside this, uh, uh, this memory. So we can see that, let's look at uh, 100 addresses after this point. It's all zero, okay? So this is a problem for us. Okay, let's maybe start from here. Uh, take another 100, also zero. 
Okay, another one. We can't even read past this uh, area. Okay, only 256 uh, bytes. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> we can just uh, read 256 past this. Um, and uh, I don't even remember how to how to read it, okay, like this. So what if we try to do 257? So we can't read past this point, okay. Uh, so what does this mean? It means that there's not much for us to do here. <clears throat> how about if we want to, well, actually, let's look at this memory area and uh, see what uh, what is it exactly. So this is a read-only section of memory, um, which doesn't look like it belongs to this process. Right? It's not a segment of the this executable. Uh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't know. Maybe uh, if we look at the, let's look at our breakpoints. If we look at uh, this module, the libsystem kernel, Maybe this could be uh, <clears throat> the one of the sections of this area. Let's look. Image dump. Okay. Image dump sections. And before we do it, let's look at this 1089. Okay. So 1089 is not part of the memory that is occupied by MMAP. Um, so it just allocates some memory that it uh, finds in the, in the process space. And it marks it at reads only. So I don't think it's even writable here. Okay, let's try to write something into this, for example, or maybe even here. Okay, this we can read. Uh, can't read this one. Let's read uh, here. So, we, okay, this works. So let's try to write. I should know a better uh, hexa arithmetic, but I don't, so whatever. Um, let me write, we need to tell uh, what format, let's say format uh, byte. This address we want to write, uh, I don't know, A. Sorry, let's make this. Okay, so now let's read this one. And we can see that our A is inside this memory. So we can write, but not past this point okay so for example here sorry so it looks like we can read uh, right inside here <clears throat> but not here so there is a point where we can't even uh, read and write and and this is an issue for us Okay, memory region, um, this, okay. So this is a read-only area, which even if we could overwrite, which I'm not sure we can, it doesn't have anything to overwrite, just zeros, okay? So nothing to exploit here basically. Um, I will try to show you in another video how a heap that can be exploited, that has some interesting things, looks like. Okay, but this is uh, really all I can say about this issue.